One of the greatest joys in my personal journey is when I get to talk to people about their sense of calling, when they share with me what their dreams are, what they think they're being asked to do. I literally see their face light up. I see the energy that fills them when they're telling me about their calling. But unfortunately, many times these conversations come to a rather abrupt end when I ask them, and what will you do tomorrow to make this dream, to make this calling a reality? Generally, when these conversations come to an end, it's because of timing. Sure, they want a passionate life, and sure, they want to follow their calling, but not now. They want to do it later, maybe when the kids are out of school, or the house is paid off, or the 401k is at a particular level. Whatever the reason, whenever we say we'll do it later, this is one of the greatest barriers that can stand between us and the pursuit of our sacred path. Now, it's certainly not bad to think about these things. It's important for us to think carefully and plan for the extraordinary changes that a calling might ask of us, it might demand of us, and that does happen. But we also need to be aware that sometimes there's a remarkable amount of deception that's at play when we say later. Our lives on this planet are not infinite, and I hope this isn't news to you. Our lives come to an end, and the clock can run out while we're planning for tomorrow. The remedy is simple to understand, but often very hard to do. If you want to begin to walk on your sacred path, then simply refuse to shy away from the question about what you'll do tomorrow to make your calling a reality. Better yet, what will you do today? And then do it. And then ask the same question tomorrow and do it again. And do it for the rest of your tomorrows and you'll be walking on your sacred path. Laters can quickly turn into overs. And as I said, the clock can certainly run out. But I trust that you'll commit to live while you're living.